What's up, everyone? I am Ali Love, and welcome to The Mixer, presented by Emirates. Out. My guest today has recently flown to Paris, London, Rome, and Nice. He is a legendary director, producer, actor, and just all-around storyteller. Please welcome Spike Lee. What's up, sis? What's up? I'm so happy you are joining me right now. Where are we first? Where are we first meet? So and who'd you work for? See, I don't know. <laughs> Y'all don't know this, but Spike and I have a great relationship. We go back many years, maybe almost a decade. And I started out Orange as, and blue skies. <laughs> I started out as a The Knicks. Mecca. <laughs> you can tell he's a huge Knicks fan. If you don't know this, he's an iconic sports fan. Now, I started as a Knicks City dancer. That's when we met each other. Mm -hmm. And then I moved across the bridge and became the host of the Barclays Center. So anytime Spike is at Barclays Center, he is not shy to heckle me and let me know where I originated from. Oh, thank you, Charlotte. All right, cabin, oh. the cabin crew coming in correct. All right. All right. Can I offer you some champagne or perhaps some fresh water? I have some champagne. All right. I mean, <laughs> if that's what we're doing, that's what we're doing. Yeah, let's toast. Okay, let's toast. Thank you. I'm happy that, you know, you've moved up and it's all love and I want nothing but the best for you. Thank you so much. You know, that, I appreciate that. That, that Nick. And that stuff, put, don't put that to the side. I just want you to <laughs> do your thing. Keep doing your thing. Thank you. Toast. Cheers, cheers. Let's really talk about it. Uh -huh. US Open. Right. I mean, we have to talk about Serena Williams. Serena. Swan. Sister. Song. Yes. S-I-S-T-A-H. Yes, T-A-H, <laughs> sister. Sister. Yes, it's her swan song. As someone who has followed her career for many years. From the get-go. How does this feel in knowing that this is it for her career. Now, it's a pivot, but this is it in terms of the game of tennis. I'm glad you said pivot, because I think a lot of athletes think that they're, when their career's over, mm -hmm. they're, they're done. But, you know, the smart ones are the ones who would think about before yep. that last mm -hmm. game. And their people are great, but their people are great and change the game. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, the GOATs change the game. Like, mm -hmm. they're doing stuff that wasn't done before. Pots was even thought of. Mm -hmm. and, and they check all the boxes. And, and again, I was blessed to be able to be here. Talking about what you're wearing. We were talking about, you know, Serena being a fashion icon. You came up here, you sported well, Morehouse. The US Open celebrates HBCU every year, right? Just like a lot of major sporting yeah. events, it is important to celebrate historically black colleges and university to show the commitment, not only to diversity, equity, and inclusion, mm -hmm. but the representation of sport in itself. Mm -hmm. What does that mean as a sports fan? I know for me, when I come into any major sporting event and I feel like I've been recognized, especially as a woman, as a black woman, I become connected. I become grounded in, it, especially in those moments or in that sporting event itself. Well, what does that feel Dion, like for First you? of all, Dion's doing his thing at, at Jackson State mm -hmm. and uh, Edwin Moses, yep. the world's greatest hurdler, mm -hmm. he's a Morehouse man, mm -hmm. class of 78, class performed me. I mean, Back he won like 100, I mean, the greatest hurdler ever. But historically, there's been a, you know, a mindset change. And so I'm glad that stories like college universities are, including athletics too, are, yes. are getting the shine and support. Being a third generation, Morehouse man, repping. You rep, you represent. And shout out to Ralph Lauren <laughs> for making it happen. Yeah, you was Ralph. Wait a minute, Ralph Salad and profiling. Ralph <laughs> <laughs> Salad and profiling. All right, we're gonna switch gears. I want to play this game called Unforced Errors. You've okay. had a long career. Were there any moments you could share with us that were quite funny, like your blooper reel, where you're just like, I was on set here, or this happened Bro, to I'll me, tell you, the, and you I'll just tell never you the would worst know. One. Okay, the worst one. Tell me. It happened in Cannes. Oh, what happened? The year before. I was the president of the jury. Okay. And in Cannes, the, the jurors each is given an envelope with the winner. And I gave away the grand prize for Cannes right at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> so you gave, did you give it to the wrong person or you gave it at no, the wrong time? No, I read it. They were supposed to, they, it wasn't the right timing. It, it was up to, supposed to be last. So wait, what, what compelled you to do that? Were you just- They were speaking French. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the, they, they didn't explain it. <laughs> they didn't explain it in, in they that They didn't explain it right, but I can't, it was, it was my bad. I gotta take the, the L on that one. So that, that can't be topped. <laughs> All right. Luckily, 
<laughs> it was not televised here in the United States of America. It's, not... <laughs> it's, it's a subset of people that actually know about this unforced area. Let's keep, let's keep this fun rolling. Mm -hmm. We're gonna play this thing called Knight's Courts. Now, anywhere Emirate flies, I'm gonna show you okay. court. I'm gonna try to make the best guess on where that is. Basketball courts? No, oh, oh. tennis courts. Oh, tennis. I'm not giving you a layup like that. <laughs> this is your first one. This is a clay court. That's gonna be Roland Garros. Okay, Spike Lee thinks this is Roland Garros. The answer is right. Rome, Italy. I should have known about those trees. Those are those. Those are, are beautiful trees, yeah, right? Yeah, Rome is famous for those trees. Okay, here we go. Number two. Now this, you got. I feel like I'm that's not, on it. Like on a. It's on. It's on. It's literally. High, it's probably one of the highest, if not the highest, tennis court. Do you have a world. fence about the end of that? What happens if you're going for? <laughs> A tremendous shot, and you imagine you go with a fence, and you. Let's imagine. Let's imagine all the good things that are going to happen. You might get someone who's hidden deep into the baseline, but you're really great at returning the baseline. Where is this court located? Come on, Spike Lee. Give me one good answer. Brazil. That is a that is a great Dubai. guess. It's Dubai. Rafael I'm Nadal. Of heights, so. And Roger Federer played the first match ever I, that on this been court. That would a forfeit. Okay. All right. <laughs> Let's go ahead. I want to do another toast to round us out because okay. why not? So we're gonna. It's called toast to the most. Okay. This is a cheers to folks like Spike Lee at the U.S. Open who are well dressed, coming out stepping, styling and profiling, and enjoying tennis while feeling good, but most importantly, while looking good. Toast to all of you. Even at Brooklyn. All right. All right, y'all. Spike Lee, the mixer, Emirates Lounge. It has been a pleasure. I'm your girl, Ali Love. I will see you later. Thank you so much. Serena! Whoa, whoa, that's it. That's it. That's it. Serena! <laughs>